Welcome to today's presentation and the question is on data representation in particular histogram. So the question reads the frequency table below shows the daily wages paid to casual workers by a certain company. So we have the table as shown. Then it continues in the grid provided draw a histogram to represent the information above. So before we draw the histogram we need to take note of the following. Now considering the classes, when the class intervals in the classes is uniform, then we'll be plotting frequency against the upper class boundaries. But if the class interval is non-uniform, then we'll be plotting frequency density against the upper class boundaries. So for this particular case, for the first class we have the class interval as 50, the next one is 50, that is 200 minus 150, the next one is 100, then 100, then 200, so that means it's not uniform, and for that particular case we'll therefore be plotting frequency density against the upper class boundary. And for that reason, I have come up with a table that will enable us get a column for frequency density because we need it to plot. So in this particular case we will fill this table but before we fill the table I want us to take note that whatever we have in the classes are class boundaries. For example if you take the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary in two consecutive classes, then you realize that they are the same. Here also we have 200 and 200 in the next class. The same applies to this and that. So that simply means that those are boundaries. So with that, for us to calculate the frequency density, we'll use the formula frequency density is equal to frequency over the class interval for that particular class. So here we calculate the frequency density as follows. So you have the frequency 160 over the class interval. So you take 150 minus 100. That is 50. Remember here we just subtract 150 minus 100 so long as these are boundaries. So the frequency density for this case is 3.2. Similarly to the next class we have 120 all over so the class interval here is again 50 and that should give us 2.4. So with this we are going to plot frequency density against the upper class boundaries. So moving to the grid, we are going to have the axis. So consider the data that we have. Remember we will have the frequency density, let me represent it by FD, the frequency density against upper class boundaries. So according to the data that we have, the highest value here is 3.8 and if we have it as follows, so if we begin from 0, then 0 0.5, that simply means one small square is equivalent to 0 0.1, then we have 1.0, 1.5 so for frequency density all the values are accommodated so we may stop at that and then on the x-axis for the upper class boundaries we begin with the lower class boundary for the first class that is 100 and then the rest will be the upper class boundaries, that is 150, 200, 300, so we have 150, 
So you have equal intervals, 150, 200, 250. So remember this is x-axis and then for this other case we have the y-axis. The next thing will now be plotting. So we will begin with the first class. From 100 up to 150 the frequency density is 3.2. So we come to 3.2 right there. Then the next one runs from 150 to 200 and the frequency density is 2.4. Next is 200 to 300 and the frequency density is 3.8. So we come to 3.8 and that runs from 200 to 300. Next we have 300 to 400 and the frequency density is 2.4 so 300 to 400 and then 2.4 right here then finally from 400 to 600 we have 0 0.5 and finally that is the histogram required so hope we remember this is upper class boundaries and here we have frequency density. And that is it for this question. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.